I wanted to show you the different components that I'm using to make my bathroom shelf slash towel rack or towel holder. Um, this is a piece of a door that I cut apart. And this is a spindle that I bought um, a, a batch or a bundle off of someone on Facebook Marketplace. And these two little pieces are one of these spindles that I've cut in pieces. And I've made different things out of these. Um, but these little pieces are just pieces of one of these spindles. Okay, what I'm going to do is I've drilled holes through these little end pieces. And I have these here, obviously, to give me a little room between um, the this piece here and the spindle so that I can put my towel hanging over there in the bathroom. So I've pre-drilled some holes. I'm going to screw and glue these pieces to this base piece and then when that's done I'm going to screw the spindles screw and glue the spindles to these little pieces here all right and then we're gonna spray paint the whole thing I'm actually probably going to spray this piece first I may spray it all because I want to sand it down a little bit and um, distress it a little bit so you'll have to see what color I'm going to spray it this is where I got my doors from for this project. They actually were on Facebook Marketplace for free. So I got five old doors for absolutely nothing, which is great. I brought them home. This is what they look like. They were dirty. I just took the hose, washed them down, scrubbed them down, got the dirt off, and then cut them up into pieces like this. And I didn't do that with all of them yet. I still have a few of them, but um, a couple of them I just cut into pieces. This is the color that we're going to paint our project. Here is the back of the project after I sprayed it I distressed it with some sandpaper I sprayed the spindle and I sprayed the other two little pieces and then I distressed them as well so this is just the shelf piece that I'm going to stick on top it was just a two by six this is our towel shelf for the bathroom and I had put some construction adhesive on these after I painted them and I had them connected to the bottom of the, the back. Went to go screw them in. This one went fine the first time. I had pre-drilled the holes in here. And then I went to go put this one in. And when I drilled it through, it just split. So, and they just popped off. Like, the construction adhesive did not keep this stuff together. So, my plan B is outside. I cut some 2 by 2s actually to two and a quarter, which is just about the length of this. So I painted the two by twos, this color, I have them cut into small little rectangles and I'm going to put them on here. That's gonna be easier. I'm gonna put some wood glue. I'll connect that, those pieces to the back and then I will connect this to those two by twos and that's how we're going to go with it. And the two by twos shouldn't split, they should be fine and I can use wood glue to hold everything together in addition to the screws. All right, we're gonna give this a second try. So I have my two by twos here, cut at two and a quarter inches. And I pre-drilled some holes. I'm using trim screws because they're a little bit more slender than regular screws. So hoping that would help with my wood splitting problem. So I go ahead and lay down some wood glue and then I use my pre-drilled holes, put my screw in and screw them down. At first, I just put one screw in each side. And then I, for whatever reason, I don't pre-drill these second holes. I decide, oh, let's go ahead and put a second screw in, but I don't pre-drill the holes. And on the right side, it goes fine. I go ahead and put in a second screw and, oh, actually I do. See, I even pre-drilled the holes. So I pre-drilled the holes. What happens is on that left-hand side, when I put the second screw in, it ends up splitting so I have a second piece that's split and see <laughs> I'm a little frustrated so I can't use that piece and what is kind of funny is this spray paint that I use for this project I am out of like I kept the can but there's none left so I am shaking 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 trying to get everything I can out of the can of spray paint so that I can spray this one teeny tiny little piece because I have to cut another two by two piece um, so I can do this. So I go out, cut another two by two piece. I spray it, I have to let it dry. 
and then it does finally end up working that last time but I could not believe that it split um, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the shelf and the hangers while that little piece dries and then we'll come and we'll finish come back and finish the whole thing while we wait for the little piece to dry I'm gonna go ahead and install the top shelf now I've pre-drilled holes for this as well and I coat I coated the shelf with that Hellsman um, sealer the urethane sealer and it yellowed my wood so I had it painted white and then it yellowed and whatever I'm just gonna go with it it's for my own personal use in our bathroom so I just left it um, if I was doing this for somebody else I know now not to put that type of sealer over white paint because it will yellow it I should have just used regular water-based sealer but I was thinking with it being in the bathroom maybe that urethane would be a little bit better with moisture and things so that's why I used it instead of my regular Minwax water-based sealer but next time I'll know that I won't do that I think if you have something that's not white um, then the urethane would be fine and it's not water-based either so it's it's definitely a an oil-based product all right I pre-drilled my holes I'm screwing in my shelf here and then once I get all the screws in then I'm going to install the hangers on the back my hangers come from Amazon they're actually a three hole hanger I have two hole hangers as well but for these heavier projects I use the three now I only put uh, I only actually use two of the holes though, two out of three in this project because that second hole hits right on that seam of the shelf and the back part. Um, so I can't put a screw in there, that would do no good. So I go ahead and use the, um, the three hole hanger and only put uh, two screws in each one, but it should be just fine. It hangs up no problem, so we're good there. This is the third attempt at trying to get this towel bar put together. I take my second two by two piece that I have for the left hand side that I barely had enough paint for and I pre-drilled a hole for that screw and installed it um, with just one screw. I didn't press my luck with two and then I pre-drilled holes in the end of the spindles and then installed those with those same two and a half inch trim screws and everything goes together as it should finally i meant to put glue between the spindles and the little two by two pieces and i forgot on the right hand side and i didn't want to take it apart um so i didn't but i did put glue over here on the left hand side and screwed that in and everything stayed together no splitting and it turned out really really good